Hello Libra, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a weekly reading for Libra from the 24th to the 30th of June 2019. Please don't forget to watch Moon and Rising Sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, please go to my website, jessmad.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my videos on simple energy healing remedies as well as my deck walkthrough series. You will find that interesting. So please like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. I'm starting off with a general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. Okay, so you've got the card of detachment. So whatever's going on around you, you need to uh, separate yourself from whatever the outcome is. Detach from it. Stop overthinking about it. And, uh, you know, don't get emotionally involved in whatever happens. Uh, so, you know, don't have very, don't uh, create expectations. Be realistic if you're going to have expectations, uh, but try not to be emotional about it. You've got the fulfillment card over here. So money is coming your way. Um, you know, you can see the ships coming in over here and there's that bag of money over there. So you just have to wait for it. You can see this man sitting and waiting. It looks like it will be coming your way. You are feeling also very, very restless as well. You've got, uh, you know, a lot of mental, um, a lot of anxiety going on as well. Uh, that Mercury sitting in Aries, there's a lot of that nervous energy going on, feeling very restless. But this is Hermes. So maybe you're thinking about traveling as well or even starting a new business with this Hermes card. You've got the Caduceus card over there, which is a sign, uh, Caduceus on his uh, stave over there, which is really a sign of starting a new business venture. And maybe this is what you're thinking of doing. You could also be thinking about travel. You might be getting a lot of, um, you know, messages, business messages coming in as well with that card. Now, in the past, you've got the inheritance card. So it looks like there's not some money or some property that may have come your way. Uh, and, you know, it's improved your personal wealth or your personal finances. You've got moon year in Taurus, and this is about personal wealth. This is about property. It is something where you may have inherited some money or inherited uh, something that has improved your financial status. Now, going into the future, you've got a, a good friendship coming in over there with that moon in Cancer. Some, so, uh, a very close uh, relationship developing, a very, very close friendship, a very, very soulmate connection. This person is a very caring person that you develop this friendship with. And uh, you are achieving a lot of goals over here. You've got the sun in Capricorn, so focusing a lot on your career, but also achieving a lot as well. So, this is, uh, you know, an ultimate achievement card. Capricorn does focus on career and um you know attaining the height of your ambition really and so that's where that focus is and the sun is shining on that so that means that you know whatever goals you want uh, career wise you're going to realize those so those are the energies for that week So I'm going to be using the Rackham Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. So there's an offer coming in for you here that you might not even be considering. You might have even refused an offer that has been made to you. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, there's a lot of emotion involved as far as this goes. And maybe you've been thinking about it quite a bit and have decided not to take it on. Uh, so, uh, you know, um, this may not have been a good idea if you're refusing to take an offer or you're refusing to consider an offer because it might really be a good offer that comes in over here with this Four of Cups. Um, you know, maybe it's not ticking all the boxes for you, but uh, it's definitely something that might be really good. It's quite a big, you know, there's quite a big cup that is being on offer for you and it's going to bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. 
maybe it's not going, uh, you know, it's not what you really wanted, but it might open a lot of doors for you. So you might need to really consider that carefully before actually rejecting that offer. Now you've got the Six of Pentacles over here and you've got the Moon card over here. So the Six of Pentacles is uh, about finances and, you know, trying to, you know, maybe worried a little bit, a lot about your finances rather, uh, but this is about money coming in. So uh, something has brought in money with the six of pentacles so you know the previous energy read spoke about inheritance it looks like you have received money uh you know recently here with the six of pentacles this is the generosity card and generally you know uh it could be about dealing with inheritances as well so money has been coming in for you for some reason or the other there's something deceptive around how that money came in for you or you could also be even feeling a bit depressed as well but you have been you have received money but something has caused you to feel a bit maybe confused about the situation or maybe a little bit depressed maybe somebody has made an offer to you that you know where they give you that financial assistance as well with that um six of pentacles now it looks like you may be dealing with an earth sign person yeah, because below this card, you've got that king of pentacles. So maybe somebody, this earth sign person, has made an offer for you that is going to, uh, you know, give you a, a lot more wealth. But there's something about it that you're not very, very happy or pleased about. There's something hidden or something that has not come to light. Uh, and it's caused you to be a little bit depressed, a bit un confused, a bit upset about something. So whatever this offer is that this person made, it is a financial offer that they have made to you. And, you know, it looks like with that six of pentacles, you're getting that money. But it's something that uh, you're not too comfortable with. It's something that's stressing you out a little bit. Something that you're not sitting too comfortably with. You got the five of pent uh, five of uh, rods over here. So you've been having a lot of problems with the people that you've been dealing with, feeling very isolated and alone. It make you know it feels as though um, you know everybody in this card feels as though everybody has uh, ganged up against you and isolated you from the crowd. So you're sitting over there protecting yourself almost. Uh, and maybe there's a lot of criticism that has come in from people around you, but you're not getting along with people around you. There's a lot of conflict going on with that five of rods, and you've been dealing with that. There's also been a lot of confusion as far as your money goes over here. So you're trying to focus on something at the moment. Maybe you're even, you know, studying or learning. You're trying to focus on something at the moment, but there's a lot of confusion going on around you. It seems like there's a decision that you've been, you've needed to make about money. You've been looking at your finances very, very carefully, maybe about whether or not you want to accept this offer, really, that is coming in for you, um, because, you know, it might have uh, strings attached to it that you're not that happy with. So that could be going on for you here. Uh, you're taking some time out to think about it, uh, but it has caused a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion going on. So whatever this deal is that is going on around you, uh, you know, that offer, you really don't want to accept it, it seems. Um, you've got the King of Cups over here. So it looks like you're going to be asking somebody or you want to ask somebody for some kind of advice, some kind of support. It might be a father figure with the King of Cups or even getting some kind of counseling uh, with regards to this. Um, and you also are feeling a bit emotional about everything as well that is going on. Uh, but, it, you know, with the King of Cups, is asking for some good supportive advice, some some advice on how to get deal with the situation. So there's something that is going on with this um, offer that is a bit shady with a moon card. Nothing, everything's not revealed. There's a bit of lies and deceit going on as well. Uh, and you are, you know, you want to get some advice on how to proceed. Now, going to the future, you've got that um, page of swords, which is also uh, about dealing with somebody who is um, very deceptive. You know, the page of swords tends to stir up a lot of problems. They tend to stir up um, a lot of a troublemaker, really. Uh, they are a bit childish in the way they act. Um, so there could be some news coming in for you, but you also could be dealing with somebody who's stirring up problems in the background over there. Uh, and maybe this is the reason why you're not too keen on accepting that particular offer. This could also be some legal news coming in that might cause a lot of disruption as well with that page of swords. Now, going into the future, you've got the Hierophant card. So, this is being in control, taking charge of the situation. But also, the Hierophant speaks about getting some practical advice and some sound advice uh, that you do need to consider before making any kind of big decisions. So, you might need to get some legal advice or financial advice or even advice from somebody that you're considering getting it from, um, you know, who will be supportive of you. But somebody who gives you some really practical advice on how to deal with situations. 
you've got the chariot card over here, so you might be thinking about moving home, maybe even buying a new home. So this could all be about even buying the new home in itself, maybe that, uh, you know, moving on from wherever you are. Now, whatever you're going to be doing is going to be victorious with the chariot card. It is being determined and being victorious in whatever you're doing and taking control. But this could also be just moving home and moving on from the situation. Maybe you're thinking about actually buying a new home with this money that you received from this, uh, whatever this payoff was, whatever this offer is. This could have also have been that you have been given the offer of, of a house or a home and you know, you're planning to move into this new home that you may have inherited. So on in your hopes and fears, you've got the Ten of Cups over here. So you want all of this drama to finish off and move. you want to move on from it. You want all the, there's a lot of, there seems to be a lot of drama that you're going through at the moment and you want that all to come to an end. You're waiting for that cycle to end. Now, going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Five of Cups over here, the Ten of Swords, and you've got the Devil. So the Five of Cups is about disappointment and loss and uh, feeling very miserable and thinking about things that you've lost in your past, uh, you know, things that didn't work out and crying over it as well. So you're going through a, a period of depression as well. It seems like you are dealing with somebody who is very manipulative and maybe you're in a position right now where you... You know, you've got that Ten of Swords over here, so it's almost like, uh, you know, you have to make um, a big decision uh, and, you know, cut your losses and move on or cut ties with this person who's manipulating you. So this could be, you know, that you're dealing with somebody who's making you an offer that you can't seem to refuse. You can't refuse this offer because it seems like a really good offer. But there's a lot of strings attached. You can see this person's almost like a puppet on a string here with this devil. Uh, and it seems like you want to end the situation. There seems to be a lot of conflict. Um, you want legal ending to this particular situation because maybe you're not dealing very well with it because for some reason or the other, it is depressing you, it's upsetting you, there's a lot of deceit and lies and maybe you feel like you're being controlled by this person too much and you want to cut your ties or end that situation, cut your losses and move on from that particular situation um, because maybe whatever promises they're making to you is not something that is, um, you know, worth your while. It's causing you to feel a lot, uh, you know, very... It's causing you to feel very, very miserable, whatever this deal is that has been struck. So it looks like you're in a, in a very difficult situation. There's something going on here, uh, you know, where somebody's making you an offer, which you can't seem to get out of or refuse. It might be something that looks very, very attractive, but it's going to end up having a lot of strings attached to it. And this is not something that you are willing to go for. And maybe this is the reason why you're not really want, you don't really want to accept that offer. It looks like you're going to have to get some good advice as to what to do next. And it might be from somebody who's a father figure who knows exactly what you want or knows you pretty well before you make big decisions. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Animal Tarot. So you've got the Three of Spring over here, which is uh, talking about stop to take time to review uh, and make long-term plans capitalizing on your past successes. It is appropriate to pat yourself on the back for your accomplishments, but you may also need patience for the next phase. So, you know, you are achieving with this Three of Spring and, um, you know, you have achieved quite a bit. Whatever projects you've been doing, whatever work you've been doing has been quite successful. There are people around you that are pretty supportive with that Three of uh, Spring, which is the Three of Rods. So you do have some good friends and maybe you need to rely on them for some kind of advice. The Eight of Spring is you have been presented with many opportunities all at once. This may feel very stressful and remember to be grateful for the blessings Heaven has sent you. So things starting to move on. The Eight of Spring is the Eight of Rods. So lots of news coming in and lots of options being available for you. So you're going to be very, very busy soon as well. Maybe not enough time to get depressed about whatever is going on. And you've got the Emperor card. It's a final card. Structure, organization are important for you. Don't be afraid to take a leadership role and uh, as much as, as you have much wisdom to offer. So this is about, you know, handling your finances, sorting yourself out, um, managing your resources. But the Emperor card is also about legal decisions being made. So there's something legal that is pending. You've got that page of um, swords over there that is also talking about some legal news and legal contracts. So there's something that you are going through at the moment 
that has got um, you know legal the legal system involved in there's a decision that is going to be made over here there's a lot of news coming in over here and you know you're gonna have to rely on your uh, people around you for a lot of support you're gonna have to get some advice uh, you know some really good uh, grounding advice in order for you to um, to make a decision it looks like there's that that news is coming in for you over here whatever is going on over here you're not too keen on it because you feel as though if you make that decision it's going to tie you up to this particular person now you could be dealing with an earth sign person here because the devil card is ruled by capricorn and it looks like you're not getting along with them you want to uh, you know, cut your ties with them, cut your losses with them and move on. It seems like there's some kind of battle between you and this person and it looks like, uh, you know, you're not happy at all with this particular situation. It's depressing you and you want to break ties with them completely and move on because you feel that whatever this deal is that is, uh, you know, whatever this offer is, whatever this money is that they want to give you uh, has got us, you know, there's a lot of lies and deceit and something uh, not quite above board with that. So you're trying to move away from it. You are trying to make a move. Um, it looks like you might make a, mo a home move or actually even just physically leave the situation, move on from it uh, and not accept that particular offer that they are making to you. Um, so I hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.